Hello, and welcome to Comfort and Joy ASMR. Today, I'm going to continue my reading of the Book of Psalms in the NIV version of the Bible. And I have my trusty, worn-out Bible that I've read for 25 years, because a worn-out Bible is a good Bible. Let's begin with Psalm chapter 11. In the Lord, I take refuge. How then can you say to me, flee like a bird to your mountain? For look, the wicked bend their bows. They set their arrows against the strings to shoot from the shadows at the upright in heart. When the foundations are being destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord is on his heavenly throne. He observes the sons of men. His eyes examine them. The Lord examines the righteous, but the wicked and those who love violence, his soul hates. On the wicked, he will rain fiery coals and burning sulfur. A scorching wind will be their lot. For the Lord is righteous. He loves justice. Upright men will see his face. Psalm 12. Help, Lord, for the godly are no more. The faithful have vanished from among men. Everyone lies to his neighbor. Their flattering lips speak with deception. May the Lord cut off all flattering lips and every boastful tongue that says, we will triumph with our tongues. We own our lips. Who is our master? Because of the oppression of the weak and the groaning of the needy, I will now arise, says the Lord. I will protect them from those who malign them. And the words of the Lord are flawless, like silver refined in a furnace of clay, purified seven times. O oh Lord, you will keep us safe and protect us from such people. The wicked freely strut about when what is vile is honored among men. Psalm 13. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I wrestle with my thoughts and every day have sorrow in my heart? How long will my enemy triumph over me? Look at me and answer, O Lord my God. Give light to my eyes, or I will sleep in death. My enemy will say, I have overcome him, and my foes will rejoice when I fall. But I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord, for he has been good to me. Psalm 14. The fool says in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. Their deeds are vile. There is no one who does good. The Lord looks down from heaven on the sons of men to see if they are any who understand, any who seek God. All have turned aside. They have together become corrupt. There is no one who does good, not even one. Will evildoers never learn? Those who devour my people as men eat bread and who do not call on the Lord? There they are, overwhelmed with dread. For God is present in the company of the righteous. You evildoers frustrate the plans of the poor. But the Lord is their refuge. Oh, that salvation for Israel would come out of Zion. When the Lord restores the fortunes of his people, let Jacob rejoice and Israel be glad. Psalm 15. Lord, who may dwell in your sanctuary? Who may live on your holy hill? He whose walk is blameless and who does what is righteous, who speaks the truth from his heart and has no slander on his tongue. Who does his neighbor no wrong and casts no slur on his fellow man? Who despises a vile man but 
honors those who fear the Lord, who keeps his oath even when it hurts, who lends his money without usury, who does not accept a bribe against the innocent. He who does these things will never be shaken. Psalm 16. Keep me safe, O God, for in you I take refuge. I said to the Lord, you are my Lord. Apart from you, I have no good thing. As for the saints who are in the land, they are the glorious ones in whom is all my delight. The sorrows of those will increase who run after other gods. I will not pour out their libations of blood or take up their names on my lips. Lord, you have assigned me my portion and my cup. You have made my lot secure. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely I have a delightful inheritance. I will praise the Lord who counsels me. Even at night, my heart instructs me. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest secure because you will not abandon me to the grave, nor will you let your Holy One see decay. You have made me known. You have made known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Psalm 17. Hear, O Lord, my righteous plea. Listen to my cry. Give ear to my prayer. It does not rise from deceitful lips. May my vindication come from you. May your eyes see what is right. Though you probe my heart and examine me at night, though you test me, you will find nothing. I have resolved that my mouth will not sin. As for the deeds of men, by the word of your lips, I have kept myself from the ways of the violent. My step have held to your paths. My feet have not slipped. I call on you, O God, for you will answer me. Give ear to my, and hear my prayer. Show me the wonder of your great love. You who save by your right hand, those who take refuge in you from their foes, keep me as an apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings from the wicked who assail me, from my mortal enemies who surround me. They close up their callous hearts and their mouths speak arrogance. They have tracked me down. They now surround me with eyes alert to throw me to the ground. They are like a lion hungry for prey, like a great lion crouching in cover. Rise up, O Lord, confront them, bring them down. Rescue me from the wicked by your sword. O Lord, by your hands, save me from such men, from men of this world whose reward is in this life. You still the hunger of those you cherish. Their sons have plenty, and they store up wealth for their children. And I, in righteousness, I will see your face. When I awake, I will be satisfied with seeing your likeness. Psalm 18. I love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I call to the Lord who is worthy of praise and I am saved from my enemies. The cords of death entangled me. The torrents of destruction overwhelmed me. The cords of the grave coiled around me. The snares of death confronted me. In my distress, I called to the Lord. I cried to my God for help. From his temple, he heard my voice. My cry came before him into his ears. 
The earth trembled and quaked, and the foundations of the mountains shook. They trembled because he was angry. Smoke rose from his nostrils, consuming fire came from his mouth, burning coals blazed out of it. He parted the heavens and came down. Dark clouds were under his feet. He mounted the cherubim and flew. He soared on the wings of the wind. He made darkness his covering his canopy around him, the dark rain clouds of the sky. Out of the brightness of his presence, clouds advanced in hill storm zones and bolts of lightning. The Lord thundered from heaven. The voice of the Most High resounded. He shot his arrows and scattered hit the enemies, great bolts of lightning and routed them. The valleys of the sea were exposed and the foundations of the earth laid bare. At your rebuke, O Lord, at the blast of breath from your nostrils, he reached down from on high and took hold of me. He drew me out of deep waters. He rescued me from my powerful enemy, from my foes who were too strong for me. They confronted me in the day of my disaster, but the Lord was my support. He brought me out into a spacious place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. The Lord has dealt with me according to my righteousness. According to the cleanness of my hands, he has rewarded me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord. I have not done evil by turning from my God. All his laws are before me. I have not turned away from his decrees. I have been blameless before him and have kept myself from sin. The Lord has rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands in his sight. To the faithful, you show yourself faithful. To the blameless, you show yourself blameless. To the pure, you show yourself pure. But to the crooked, you show yourself shrewd. You save the humble, but bring low those whose eyes are haughty. You, O Lord, keep my lamp burning. My God turns my darkness into light. With your help, I can advance against a troop. With my God, I can scale a wall. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is flawless. He is a shield. For all those who take refuge in him. For who is God besides the Lord? And who is the rock except your God? It is God who arms me with strength and makes my way perfect. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He enables me to stand on the heights. He trains my hands for battle. My arms can bend a bow of bronze. You give me your shield of victory and your right hand sustains me. You stoop down to make me great. You broaden the path beneath me so that my ankles do not turn. I pursued my enemies and overtook them. I did not turn back until they were destroyed. I crushed them so that they could not arise. They fell beneath my feet. You armed me with strength for battle. You made my adversaries bow at my feet. You made my enemies turn their backs in flight and I destroyed my foes. They cried for help, but there was no one to save them. To the Lord, but he did not answer. I beat them as fine as dust borne on the wind. I poured them out like mud in the streets. You have delivered me from the attacks of the people. You have made me the head of nations. People I did not know are subject to me. As soon as they hear me, they obey me. Foreigners cringe before me. They all lose heart. They come trembling from their strongholds. The Lord lives. Praise be to my rock. Exalted be God my Savior. He is the God who avenges me. 
who subdues nations under me, who saves me from my enemies. You exalted me above my foes. From violent men, you rescued me. Therefore, for I will praise you among the nations, O Lord. I will sing praises to your name. He gives king great victories. He shows unfailing kindness to his anointed, to David and his descendants forever. Thank you for listening to Comfort and Joy ASMR today. If you found comfort and joy through the reading of God's word, please subscribe to this channel and hit the like button so others can hear God's word and be blessed as well. Thank you.